The Opium Wars of 1839-42 and 1856-60 were a series of conflicts, firstly between China and Britain, and then between China and an Anglo-French alliance, sparked by the frankly ludicrous Chinese assumption that their country should not be flooded with thousands of tons of opium, their people and society destroyed. For their part, Britain thought otherwise. The story also includes a Chinese man who thought he was Jesus Christ's brother. Britain had been illegally importing the Moorish narcotic from India to China since the 18th century, but upped its game from about 1820 onwards, quadrupling imports, in an attempt to restore the balance of trade that had previously seen enormous quantities of silk and tea exchanged for precious silver. Better to give them opium, especially when sold at a huge profit. Millions of Chinese, predictably, became addicted. By 1839, with the Chinese now promising to behead any foreigner selling opium in Chinese trading ports, and having sent a strongly worded letter on behalf of the mighty and heavenly emperor to the ought-to-be-grateful and obedient Queen Victoria, the local authorities duly confiscated 20,000 chests of opium in Canton. Evidently astonished that the Chinese had still to fully appreciate the obvious benefit and inevitability of British free trade dominance in the East, it was clear to all back in London that what was needed here was a swift dose of gumbo diplomacy. It was given. First in 1840-41, to 41, with the Royal Navy making their way up the Pearl River to bombard and occupy Canton, and later, in 1842, with the capture of Nanjing. The following treaties of Nanjing and of Bo opened up more trading posts for the import of opium, the annexation of Hong Kong to the benevolent empire, and at last quashed the tiresome Chinese insistence that those among the British trading cohort falling foul of local laws should be subject to local courts. Quite a handy addition to the new arrangements, given the unfortunate habit of British sailors of drunkenly beating to death the local villagers. Of course, having so easily imposed such a humiliating concession upon the Chinese, it was not long before hostilities and therefore the chance of further profit would resume. By 1856, the Qing court, preoccupied by a civil rebellion led by the Christian Hyangshuo Chuen, him of I'm Jesus Christ's brother fame, that was incidentally to leave 20 million dead, the British now joined by the French, once again sailed the Pearl River to Montbard and later captured Canton. In the north, they also took Chuanjin. More treaties were to follow, which officially legalised opium and opened up yet more ports to its trade, barring a minor inconvenience in 1859 when the Chinese authorities refused to ratify the new agreements, leading to the Anglo-French capture of Beijing and the burning down of the Empress Summer Palace. This marked the end of the Opium Wars. Thanks for listening. If you like this, subscribe and comment below.